543 right now. Temperatures are starting to tick up already, Alexis. Yeah, that's right. Now we have a nice look of our Constellation camera looking at downtown Madison. You're noticing as the sun is rising, it looks overcast. It looks cloudy, right? Not cloud cover. That is haze from the wildfires in Canada. We're going to talk about that in just a second. But as you take a step outside this morning, feeling pretty good out there. 61, the current temperature in Madison, 60 in Baraboo, 58 there in Reedsburg and Montello, 68 in Monroe. As we go through our day, those temperatures are going to warm up about 87. Your high temperature likely going to be in the low 80s by lunchtime, a bit hazy through your day, but mostly to partly sunny. Uh, it's still going to look more over through your day because of the that air quality being lowered. So we're at a moderate than the moderate category right now. We are expected to worsen into that orange category, which is unhealthy for sensitive groups. And we're going to stay that way through the rest of today and through at least tomorrow morning. Your UV index is still high and pollen is medium. So that's just a look at weather and your health for your Monday. But the big picture here with your current air quality, what we have to look at, of course, is the wildfires in your wind direction. That's everything. Your wind direction is out of the northwest and you can see the worst air quality right now is over the Twin Cities, uh, over towards Eau Claire as well. All of that is on the way. I don't think we'll hit that red category, but I think we'll be pretty much uh, settled into the orange category, unhealthy for sensitive groups. So if you're in those groups, you want to limit physical exertion, especially outside, but everybody probably want to take precaution at least through today should get better by tomorrow afternoon. We're also kind of watching this boundary to our north. You can see even a few showers and thunderstorms popping up there in northern Wisconsin. As we zoom in on our area, we're calm, nothing going on with our radar right now. However, that boundary to our north, if it dips just a little bit further south, which I do expect it to happen later on today, we could potentially see a few showers and thunderstorms pop up. I think in our most northern areas, probably the Dells and north, uh, but we're likely going to stay dry through today and tomorrow. Most of that rainfall activity going to stay to the north there. So yeah, even into tomorrow should stay dry there and we'll just see a good amount of sunshine. However, it's going to look overcast because of the haze in the sky. So we don't have a good rain chance for today and tomorrow, just about a 10, 20% chance there. Your best rain chance is going to fall Thursday night into Friday as we track a cold front that will give us some relief from the from the heat that we are going to see. But what that does when we see increased rain chances, we also see increased dew points. When it starts, when those dew point temperatures start to get into the 60s, that's when it starts to feel a little uncomfortable. I'm tracking those dew points near that 70 degree mark by Wednesday and Thursday. It is going to be hot and humid. Temperatures warming well into the 90s, 96 by Thursday. A heat index likely going to be in the triple digits. I don't think we break any records on Thursday. The record for that day is uh, 100 degrees set back in 1955, but the feels like temperature will be near that. There, we're back in the 80s as we head towards this 